is it worth for actors doing uh, workshops with, ca with casting directors? Yes and no. Okay. Make sure you've, you're picking the right workshops for you. Mm -hmm. So casting directors who are casting the kinds of shows that you would want to be in, you can, again, you can check in with your agent, send them the workshop info, say, do you think this is worth my time? Casting directors who are not charging an arm and a leg to answer a few questions over Zoom. I think if you're paying uh, a decent amount of money for a workshop with a casting director, it needs to be one where they give you as an individual specific feedback. So you get workshops where you've maybe been asked to prepare a piece, you've taped for them. They're looking at this piece and they're giving you valuable, valuable feedback on, you know, on what you've done. Mm. If it's a Q&A, yes, there's valuable information there. But again, so that kind of information can vary from one casting director to the next. This is the kind of industry where there sometimes isn't one correct answer or one way of thinking. And a lot of the time, I think your agents could probably answer those questions mm -hmm. for you. Um, so then it becomes a curiosity thing. You're curious about what it's like for that casting director to, to work with a certain show. And then it's like, how, it, how beneficial is that information to actually to your career? and how much of it is just your curiosity. And then going, how much am I willing to spend on my curiosity? Mm -hmm. So looking at what the workshop is, what the value is that you're gonna get back out of it and what you are willing to spend on that. Because if it's 200 pounds for an hour Zoom, you're not guaranteed to walk away with as much information as you would like. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it's, you know, a hundred pounds for a workshop where your tapes have been reviewed, you've been given valuable feedback, that casting director's actually seen your face and knows who you are. There's someone who you can then reach out to again afterwards and say, hi, I did your workshop for this and this, I see you're casting this role that I could be perfect for. Then it's probably value for money. Mm -hmm. I have been in workshops where I'm on, not as an actor, where I'm working in the casting side of things and thought to myself I don't feel I've watched it and, and thought I don't feel that actor got what they were looking for out of the workshop and of course you, you can never satisfy everyone but where I can see what the actor was after and knew that they weren't getting that or where I as the assistant was typing up the feedback um, and <laughs> the feedback they were getting was not actually from the casting director. Mm -hmm. um, it's still feedback, but... <laughs> it's still feedback, but I think some people would be very upset yeah. if they knew, oh, well, I've, you know, I've of just course. spent this much money and... Yeah. Look, and I'm sure most casting directors don't operate that way, mm -hmm. but you want that proper interaction because I have also been in situations where people have done workshops with the casting director and they haven't necessarily, you know, the feedback has been, yeah, that was a great tape. And I'm like, that's not helpful. <laughs> but then because they've met that person face to face, when we were casting other projects, they say to me, who's that actor who was in the Zoom the other day? Yeah, I really liked her face and the way she interacted with me. Let's call her in for this. Mm. But that can, you, do you want to be spending couple hundred pounds in case that happens yeah. if you have it fine but if you don't and you need to be more selective then just make sure that it's going to be valuable for you 